is do you still think about that uh what happened is that still painful uh for you or maybe some of the guys on 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 the team is that maybe still a, a pain a pain point and you know if so or, or i i guess if not how, how do you maybe find peace with what happened knowing that you guys were so close but but you know kind that happens there, there's no peace there's i'm, I'm not an almost guy my teammates aren't almost guys, and it still stings to it still stings to this day. Just I can handle losing. I've I've lost a lot. I've lost a lot of football games in my life. What I can't handle or comprehend is just unrash decisions. Like you, you can't. There's not a scenario situation that you can convince me that that was the right thing to do for this football team. That we we weren't put in a position to win that football game. Mm. off of one call even if it was a throw and incomplete pass when you're in that position when the margin of error is so small you got to be spot on and just for us to lose that way for me not to be able to call myself a back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion that hurts and um, I watched the you know the game highlights to come on I changed the TV I can't I don't watch that like I can't now turn mm. turn that mess off I'm not watching that stuff and so um hard hard lesson that we had to learn that day and um when you put in that position just do what got you there just just do the little things right and, and everything will take care of itself kj if, if you can't find peace how how do you move on right because life obviously goes on you, you gotta literally move on but when you still maybe struggle to grapple with it or kind of thinking about what if how do you move on mentally I could have moved on if I'm sure I worked this properly. Give me some time with this one. Okay. Um, you know how something happens to you in life and you just want an apology from people. Like, I just want you to acknowledge what you did to me and we cool. Some people get that like, all right, we good. Boom, boom, boom. Some people don't get that. And they like, they hold this thing inside of them. Like every time I see, every time I see you, I like I can't help but to think of how I got wronged, and I just felt like I just felt like for me, I didn't get a good enough explanation until what the, what happened. Mm. I didn't get I, I I didn't get a good explanation of what happened and why, and um, so it may take me it's gonna take me some time, but to this day. I'm still mad. I'm still angry. And mm. that 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 feeling lasted in that building for years. Like I would say about four years. You could feel the energy in that building. We're all mad at each other. But no, mm. but we didn't have that transparent conversation as coaches and as players to really get it out of our system. How do you think the story of the Seahawks of that time would have been different had Obviously, you guys have just given Marshawn the ball or whatever, but winning that back-to-back -back Super Bowl, as you guys were on the cusp to doing, how do you think the entire trajectory of the Seahawks and, and maybe even the league mm -hmm. could have possibly been different had that happened? Well, we I, here's the thing. I know that we were the greatest defense to ever walk this planet, but there's still some questions. There's still some doubt out there. If we if we win both those Super Bowls, we potentially go to another one because no one's leaving. Every everyone was coming back. Literally, we had the entire team there. Everyone was coming back. So without a doubt, we would have been considered one of the best teams to ever play the game of football, one of the best defenses to ever do it. But we only got one. And that's that's cool. That's I'm happy for it. But I just really want to just put my stamp on you guys are the best to do it. You guys are the best to walk the planet. And without a doubt, the Seattle Seahawks, when it comes to this generation, it doesn't come close to anybody that was the best team. You mentioned needing kind of an apology, if, if, I, if I heard you right, about being able to, to move on. Who exactly do you need an apology? Do you mean the coaches? Like, hey, you, you guys let us down just – hold yourselves to account just like how you guys hold us to account. Is that kind of what you mean when you say it's still hard for you to move on? Yeah. I, from the coach, that's, that's it. Mm. I, it, it doesn't, who else going to say, <laughs> you, 
Yeah. Is it explained? The thought process explained? And it was explained. Let me let me be clear. It was explained, but it didn't make sense in my brain. So maybe I'm messed up. Maybe I'm messed up because it didn't make sense in my brain. But it was explained, the the, the thought process, but it it doesn't register with me. I don't get it. Mm. So maybe I got, maybe I have some own personal um, <laughs> stuff that I need to fix with KJ, but I ain't got there yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. 